Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Okie doke. So, this is not a finished sketchbook, but it was my designated mermaid sketchbook. So, I bought a brand new Illo sketchbook to fill up for mermaids. An Illo sketchbook, and my supplies were mostly based off of. Oh, hoo -hoo, markers! This is the pastel set. I bought it for Mermaid because I was obsessed. I saw a bunch of reviews for them, bought them, but I also used like my very first Oh Hoo Hoo set. So I've got like two sets. This is like the 36 colors, and then this was the pastel set. And you can buy them on Amazon. Alrighty, so it's not a finished sketchbook, like I said, so you'll probably see it later on into the future when I finally do finish it. There were two different prompt lists that I really liked from Mermaid on Instagram. This one was based off of three different Instagram artists. They took like a section, and what I really liked about it was it was every other day, so I wasn't bombarding myself. What I chose was this prompt list, but then every other day with my patrons on Patreon, I would do like Erica the Goober's Mermaid prompt list. So I did like flower, neon, for the first page. I have Miss Ariel, all wonderful in her park dress. I never get to draw Ariel in her park dress. So I just wanted to start off Mermaid with a mermaid we all know and love. So I started with Ariel and I used Prisma colors to line her and uh, oh, ooh, markers to color her in. This was the first day on the fairy tale mermaid. So it was like called fairy tale mermaid prompt list and it was roses are red and I came up with a fun kind of concept for this one, the saying that, you know, she's a singer and a siren and all the sailors give her a bunch of roses because she doesn't kill them. Because, you know, sirens lure sailors to their death. <laughs> it's scary. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Then I went ahead and jumped on to Erica the Goober's prompt list and made this for my patrons on Patreon. So this is based on flower and I just put a couple of pretty flowers, Posca pen flowers in her hair. This was called Love Song. Now I really like this one a lot because I did it kind of a different perspective and I wanted it to be like a really tiny boat to the point that it looked like she was toppling it over and I wanted it to be some cute Hawaiian guy playing his ukulele to his mermaid and you know just something cute and she looks like she has like a sunshine kind of tail with a sunshine top. I don't know I, this really reminds me of like a twist to uh, the Splash movie and then I, I skip a lot of pages I'll probably come back and fill this. So this is a really cool one. I did a May the 4th be with you, but it was also mine and my husband's second anniversary. And last year we didn't really get to celebrate because of quarantine and we were all locked down. So this year we went to a coffee house and he made me an adorable card and I can grab that. You don't get to read it, but you can see it. <laughs> so this was where we spent our honeymoon. We had a cute little Florida uh, cottage kind of cabin in the Everglades and he created this and I made him into a Sith Lord for May the 4th and our anniversary. And then I also made this awesome kind of Jedi mermaid. Really like her tail and I really, really would love this lightsaber. I would love a double-ended purple lightsaber. It's so cool. And then this day, not 110% in love with this one and I think it was just the profile that was really throwing me off. I had a, you know how you have a kind of a certain image in your head and you're just like, mm, I want this to transpire from my brain onto a page and it just wasn't working. So this one was fireflies and I wanted it to be like a monster of the Black Lagoon because, you know, when we were in Florida, we visited the, you know, the glass bottom boats the boats with glass bottoms and you can see the bottom. You know, that's where they Shut up. <laughs> That's where they filmed the creature of the Black Lagoon and I wanted that to be like this and I wanted it to be her to be scary looking. I'm not happy with this one, but whatever. And then for my patrons on a live stream, we did Erica the Goober's prompt and it was fruit and they suggested that I draw a fruit mermaid based off of the dragon fruit. So you can see her tail and her hair, got the like the speckles. And honestly, I've never straight up had a dragon fruit outside of the Starbeast drink. 
Now I did intend for her to be a villain. This one was, okay, this one was spelled and somebody, somebody really cool said that this looks like Obi-Wan on my TikTok and I was like, oh my goodness, it does look like Obi-Wan. And what I was going for was I wanted him to be like looking at her and this is totally the sirens luring the sailor kind of thing. Except clearly if you can look at her fin, including her body, skin tones, and everything. She's clearly a great white mermaid and her hair's covering up her fin so he can't, all he sees is her, which leads to his death. Dum dum dum. So dark, not really, just fun storytelling. <laughs> and then this day was Mother's Day and I didn't intend for Mrs. Darling to look like Belle but she ended up looking like Belle. I thought, well, Mrs. Darling had like, you know, her hair done up just like that and didn't have any flowy hair. And I was like, I want her to have flowy hair to match Wendy. So that's what I did and I was just like, whoops, looks like Belle. But this is Mrs. Darling and Wendy for Mother's Day because Mrs. Darling, in my opinion, is one of the best Disney moms. This was a lot of fun because I was introduced to this app called Just Sketch Me and they asked me to use their app and I said, sure. And I posted it on my Instagram and my TikTok. It was great, very fun to use and it was really nice because it's like those 3d models and stuff so if you ever want to use it you can check it out later into the future but it does help they had like a mermaid promotional for the month of mermaid and you could get a mermaid model and you could draw like how you saw that mermaid and I was really happy because I usually have a ton of trouble with drawing characters looking up so that really, really helped me in this particular sketch. Really love this. It's like a sun ray kind of fish thing. I love how this turned out. This was Evil Queen. Now I wanted it to be, I didn't want her to be ugly because when we think of Evil Queen and she does have Ursula vibes and that's who I was thinking of. But then I thought, I don't want it to be Ursula. I want it to be an evil mermaid queen. And I wanted like, you know, hey, I got the ugly cat sidekick cat or the ugly kind of sidekicks and I wanted her to have an oddball as a sidekick and I wanted her to have this awesome like green power like either it be like a lightning strike or maybe like a poisonous kind of thing coming from her hand. So this one's called Violet Night and it actually has some sparkles to it. I have this really cool like purple gel pin. I thought that maybe she likes to collect trash and seashells like around her harbor, She like local harbor. And this was totally inspired by Marissa Meyer's story, uh, Instant Karma. Loved the book, it was awesome. And that's what I thought of and I thought, oh, I wanna come up with my own characters. Cause it was all about like saving seals and stuff and cleaning the ocean. It was a really sweet movie. Somebody wants to talk to you. <sighs> Anyways, it's just a really sweet book and I got really inspired by it. So she cleans the ocean and one day she got chased by a shark and then all of a sudden he comes swimming up, saves her, and now they're like best friends or to be continued, who knows? I almost got way too dark with this one and my husband kind of stopped me from getting way too dark with this one. <laughs> so this one was Curse and I wanted it this mermaid to be cursed into being a jellyfish, which a uh, Portuguese man of war, which turns out not to even be a jellyfish, you know, blue bottle fish. I don't even know what they are. It was gonna be really sad and I was gonna have like a dead fish in her tentacles. <laughs> it, was, it was dark and it needed a lot of like, reconcept kind of thing. <laughs> so she's cursed with being, instead of being a beautiful mermaid, she's cursed to look like a Portuguese man of war. She just kind of looks like one of those dinosaurs with the big fins on her back, whatever. This is fun. This was another Patreon kind of live stream that I did called Sweet, and it's from Erica the Goober's prompt list, and they suggested that I do the fun Neapolitan kind of spectrum on her. We, I did Neapolitan because they suggested that she have like brown skin, yellow seashell bra and tail, and then it fade into an ombre of like the strawberry pink. Not that. Okay. 
I know. So here's the fun Neapolitan mermaid and I've got, they suggested like sprinkles in her hair, like made up of whipped cream and then the cherry on top and then some mint leaves. So that was fun. She's a really fun mermaid. I really like how this turned out, especially her hair. Poison. So for poison, I looked up that some of the most poisonous fish, one of them was the lionfish because I guess it's got like venom that comes out of its like fins or whatever that's going on. So I made a mermaid. She looks crazy but she looks really cool so I, I, I'm getting like this sporty spice kind of vibe from her <laughs> this day was shapeshifter I love clownfish it's one of my favorite fish because obvious raisins Nemo <laughs> so with Nemo I wanted to have like a shapeshifter kind of mermaid like into this giant big mermaid Nemo fish I don't know clownfish mermaid crazy and I wanted to have her like transforming back into a mermaid or is she transforming into a clownfish this is actually really fun because I struggled with this one so I wanted it to be this day was pirate and I wanted it to be switched up so I wanted it to be like a pirate female captain with her merman because I see so many inspirations and like drawings of male pirate captains with their mermaids who are females and I'm just like oh I'm gonna switch it up so I wanted this to be like her sitting on his lap and then the tail coming up and I wanted her to hold rum and I was just like this is way too much so <laughs> instead I made this scene like, you know, they're just chilling and hanging out. And this is another like two page spread. So it goes all the way over to the other side. And I wanted her to be hanging out, talking about her day with her merman. And because they're supposed to be sworn enemies because of the whole sirens and sailors and you know somebody's eventually dying and you know and even in like the Pirates of the Caribbean the third movie that's what I was just thinking of but instead she's the female pirate captain with her merman and she's just hanging out with him enjoying the shade and just telling him about her day this one's really cool because I made some new friends on TikTok and I don't know if many of you guys follow that Christian geek or the Bible guy. That's what his name used to be and he challenged all of his friends on TikTok that were artists to draw his wife for her birthday into a mermaid and she's actually Hawaiian so I created like a Hawaiian Polynesian princess mermaid. This is fun. So I got one of those really awesome four color Bic ballpoint pens and I took it with me to visit my husband at his job He works for the Mecham auto auction that you see sometimes on TV or if you see your dad's or your grandpa's whoever's watching it It's just this big auction on TV. It's cool TV for old people. I know <laughs> But I was visiting him there, so that's what I usually do when I go visit him at the auctions. I take my sketchbook and draw, and that was like a whole TikTok video about explaining that my sketchbook is my security blanket and I bring it with me everywhere. That's why I love the Illo sketchbook, because it's perfect, it's compact. No sketching beforehand, I had to just do it straight up with just the pen. Really challenging, but that's basically what I was doing sitting in, <laughs> in the convention's bar area. So, yep. That's that's what I do. <laughs> this one was called Something Blue and I really wanted to do a cool color scheme and I had not done a picture of a mermaid who was above water yet. So I went ahead and made this plus size mermaid into like a green cool color blue spectrum. Really had a ton of fun. The only purple you see is right here. This one, love how this turned out. I love how I did the scales on her tail. I want her hair so, so bad. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I was going for here. I think it just looks like Mrs. Rizzo and this was actually one of the church doodles. It didn't turn out awesome, but I made this in church and she just looks like, you know, the magic school bus lady. So. And then Steven's little, my pants are too tight and he's got his butt sticking out. Yep, I'm gonna leave that in there. This one is called Tea Party and I based it off of Bridgerton and just like I wanted like, you know, tea, 
teacup time, <laughs> Wonderland. I thought of Wonderland and Bridgerton. And I thought of Marie Antoinette. And I didn't know she's not that terrible of a person, I guess. Some people were correcting me on my TikTok. I don't really know. I didn't pay attention that, that year in history class because he was a terrible history teacher, but I do remember us talking about it. <laughs> so, um, so this is a cross between Wonderland and Bridgerton. So you've got the crazy, awesome, like I wanted to do the seashell pattern on her teacup, crazy colors that remind me of Bridgerton's awesome costumes. And I also wanted her to have like pink skin to be clearly a character that Alice would come across while she's on her journey of Wonderland. This day was royal. So for fun with my patrons, I went ahead and did a live stream where I opened up one of the Disney princess boxes and I got, here she is, this Jasmine right here from my Disney princess surprise box. It's like the Disney princess comics or whatever. I got Jasmine, so you got a little bitty tiger fish right there, it's Raja. Tiger fishes do not look that cute in real life. Do not look it up. So here she is. And I did, I tried to incorporate her new like peacock, like the pattern that is in her new costume. So that's why I tried to do there. But I really love how this turned out and I really enjoyed uh, working with her hair because I didn't want it to be in the, like the bounded ponytails or whatever. So I wanted it to be all flowy. This is another one I wasn't too fond of. This was Bride. And I was looking at bridal mermaid, you know, style dresses, and then I found the perfect like mer mermaid bridal dress. I wanted to base it off of that, and she didn't really end up looking like that. Like she looks like the dress that I found. I messed up on her face a ton, and I messed up on his body. Um, I didn't want, I wanted him to be kind of like a bulkier, not like as fit, like a Kristoff kind of build. like dad bod crossed with clearly he works out. <laughs> That's what I wanted to go for and I didn't like how it turned out. I was like, ugh. And then the last day of Mermaid was, on my prompt list was forever and I did a video on this where I actually showed you guys um, me drawing it. So, and I thought, you know, with forever, I thought of Mermaid Forever pastel colors. Like she can be like some crazy mermaid pastel queen or mermaid pastel goddess, who the heck knows. It's all fun and games and storytelling. But that's who I thought of. Like she can be representative of all mermaids. I actually stopped doing my Patreon live streams for the summer and I'm taking them over to YouTube now where everybody can join me this summer on Thursdays at four o'clock. Eastern Standard Time and I'm gonna start just for like the summer to see how it goes. I'm gonna do some live streaming events and this is what we did for my very first live streaming event and I kind of think this ties it all together because here's Ariel sleeping, Sebastian and Flounder and I started it off with Ariel in her park dress and I ended it with Ariel taking a little snooze like, yay, Mermaid is over. We'll see you next year, Mermaid. So <laughs> that is my entire Mermaid sketchbook tour for the year 2021. And it makes me happy because I got to participate in Mermaid again. I haven't been able to participate in Mermaid all the way through since 2019 and I'm really happy that I got to do so many drawings and dedicate a sketchbook solely for Mermaid 2021. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun sketchbook tour and yeah you'll probably see it again once I fill up the rest of these blank pages. Got a beautiful wonderful illo. Gotta fill it up. All right, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, click that like button if you love mermaids, and I will see you all later. Bye.